Hello everyone. My name is Lou Del Monte and welcome to Del Monte on Science. Today we're going to pick up where we left off in the last video and discuss how virtual particles might give us a clue to the origin of the Big Bang. I call this the Big Bang Duality Theory. So let's just briefly recap where we were in our last video post. In the last video post, we introduced the concept that there is a super universe. And I'm going to depict that here. And some people call this the super universe. Some people call it the multiverse. Some people call it the bulk. And I often refer to it as the bulk in my new book, Unraveling the Mysteries of the Universe, available at Amazon.com in both Kindle and paperback. So if you want to read deeper into this, please avail yourself of the book. Now, we have talked about how we see virtual particles in a laboratory vacuum. And it's been speculated that uh, a virtual particle could be responsible for the Big Bang. Dr. Krauss at Arizona State University has a book, uh, A Universe from Nothing, I believe it's, is the title. And he speculates that, or hypothesizes is a better word, that the Big Bang is the result of a virtual particle. I actually think it's the result of a virtual particle pair. And most quantum physicists believe that when you're in a highly energetic vacuum, you're more likely to see a particle pair. So that you get a virtual particle that is matter, and a virtual particle, I'm just going to use a minus sign to represent it, that's antimatter. Now, in reality, we don't really see the virtual particles in a vacuum, but we see their effects. We know they're real. And if this sounds very mysterious to you, you're not alone. Many physicists, in the, especially in the quantum community, regard virtual particles as very mysterious. But nonetheless, there's a laundry list of effects, including the Casimir effect, the lamp shift, etc., that we can say this is real. They do exist. Now, most quantum physicists believe that they occur in pairs, that you get a, a, an antimatter, and this would be antimatter, and matter pair. And this makes a lot of sense. In a highly energetic vacuum, you would get highly energetic particle pairs. And the particle pairs actually then would conserve energy. In other words, this, this remains an energy neutral system. Now, how does this all work? Why do we get these? Well, inside the vacuum, the energy is never evenly distributed. Because of the Heisenberg uncertainty principle, you'll get places where the energy actually bunches up and gives rise to these virtual particles coming out of the vacuum. And that's what we see in a laboratory vacuum. In the super universe, it's highly energetic, so we see infinitely dense, energy dense, virtual particle pairs. And the Big Bang duality theory hypothesizes that this particle collides with this particle. And when that happens, what you get, when the two collide, you get a Big Bang. This is what actually causes the Big Bang. Now why, why bring it from this point instead of a single particle. Well, when you have a single particle, you really cannot explain the missing antimatter. That's a big, big uh, uh, problem. Uh, it would explain the origin, but you can't explain the missing antimatter. And you can't explain the initial inflation of the universe. So let, we're going to talk about both of those in future posts, but let's just briefly go into it now. The two particles come together, and when matter and antimatter actually make contact, you get a violent reaction. All right. Now, it's not, as, as we see in movies and so on, it's not just a big explosion. What we're seeing is a reaction where you have matter, I'm going to call that one, plus antimatter. And the chemical reaction that takes place, and that's how I do it as a chemical reaction, is you get matter 2 plus electromagnetic radiation. And these are photons. Those are 
was a photons plus antimatter. So it's not a zero. It's not zero. You do get, but you do get a lot of energy out of this. And so that, that energy, when these come into contact, that energy, I postulate, was responsible for the early inflation. So let's, let's talk about the, the hypotheses, the major premises of the Big Bang duality theory, which I'm, I am actually uh, putting out there for the first time in my new book, Unraveling the Mysteries of the uh, unraveling the universe's mysteries, and it's available on Amazon, as I mentioned. What is the two premises of the Big Bang duality theory? First, you have to postulate a super universe, one that's capable of holding ours and other universes, and that the, the energy within that universe, the vacuum, contains energy that will give rise to these infinitely energy dense virtual particles. I postulate, too, that you're seeing it as a particle pair versus a single particle because that preserves the conservation of energy. And this is called, when you, do, when, when you actually produce a particle pair, that's called a quantum fluctuation. And that means that the energy bunched up and gave rise to the uh, virtual particles. And this is in accordance with the Heisenberg uncertainty principle, which says that the energy will continually be changing on a statistical basis. So that's really the first hypothesis. I know I went into a lot of words on that, but that's basically it. The second is that the Big Bang itself is actually the result of a collision between these two virtual particles and the super universe, which I refer to as the bulk. Now, there are a lot of implications from this, and that says that quantum mechanics is actually occurring. There's a quantum, there's a, there's a set of laws that are actually driven from the bulk, and that they're quite, the bulk is obeying, in, in effect, quantum mechanics. Um, now, in the, next, in the next video, we're going to, this one pretty much answers the origin of the universe. But in the next video, we're going to talk about the early inflation, and what caused that. And it's actually caused by this reaction, this chemical reaction. And following that, we'll talk about the missing antimatter. And I think we're going to shed a lot of light on these new mysteries. Thank you very much.